Let's play a probability game of uh, throwing a coin and rolling a die. So you got a coin and you have a die and you want to make a game out of this. So the game is very simple. You throw a coin so the possible outcomes are head or tail. Okay, And if you roll a die the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now to play this game, to make it exciting, so let's say you pay to play this game, to play, let's define, say you pay one dollar. And you win the game, how would you define winning? You can make up your own game like this, so if you get a head and then a tail, sorry, head and then a six, you say it's you win or you lose you get anything else you lose that means you should to play this game you pay one dollar and uh, if you get a head and a six you win and uh, you win how many dollars so let's say you win ten dollars now and say you have you have to play you have got twenty dollars okay so you have got twenty dollars and you want to play the all these twenty dollars so if you play twenty times what's the chance of winning ten or more dollars so that's the game so to play this game you have to make up a table say okay now one more thing if you have a coin and a die you can use it but suppose you don't have a coin and a die and we want to use a calculator or a ra random number on the calculator to model this Okay, so now we need to decide how are we going to model. So this is a crucial step to modeling. We are modeling, we are going to model a coin and a die by a random number. Now on random number, you can generate random numbers according to your needs. So if you want to, uh, say, generate random numbers, say, from 1 to 6. So how do you generate random numbers from 1 to 6? Okay, this is how you do it. On your calculator, find the key which has on the screen, you should have this random number. Times 6 plus 1 will give you random numbers from 1 to 6. Okay, let me show you. So this is my calculator set on random numbers. So, so let you find this on your calculator. This should come up. Times 6 plus 1. So I've got 2. Ignore the numbers after the decimal point. So if you press again equal, you'll get 2. So this is 2, 2, 6, 1, 3. If you keep pressing, you get two new, new numbers between 1 to 6, including 1 and 6. So ignore the numbers after the decimal point and only take the numbers, the first number in short. So can you see the numbers are from 1 to 6? Okay, so we can get random numbers from 1 to 6, and we're going to want to use these numbers to model this. So we need to define what are we going to uh, decide as what. Say, let's say if you get 1, 2, and 3, if you get 1, 2, and 3, the first, when you press equal, we'll say that's head, and if you get 4, 5, 6, you can make up your own game. 4, 5, 6, I'm saying that's tail. So, you press once. So, let me show you. Okay, and the second outcome, for the, this is for the first number. Now, if you get 6, you say it's 6 on the dice. The second number, this is for the second number. You have to press two times. So, this is your first number. This is your first number this is your first number and this is your second number. If you get 6 as a second number, it says 6 on the die. So what do I mean by that? So let me cancel this. If I press random times 6 plus 1. So I have to press 2 times for every game. So first number models the coin and the second number models the die. So I got 2. That means I got tail. No, head. What did I define? Yeah. 2 stands for head. So I got a head 
and if I press equal, I got 2 and 6. Okay, that's what I want. So, I got a head and a tail. So, let me write it. So, if I get a 2 and a 6, what does this mean? This means I got a head and a tail. Sorry, head and a 6. So, let me again press 5 and 5. So, I got 5. So, let me write 5 and 5. 5 dash 5. So, what does that mean? 5 means I got a tail and a 5. Okay, so let me do one more. So, let me cancel it. Again, do it. Random number times 6 plus 1. 3 and 3. So, what does that mean? I got 3 and 3. What does 3 mean? 3 means I got a head and I have, I've got a 3. Okay. So, I've done an experiment about 7 times. So, let me show you that. So, I got 1 and when so I'm changing this. So, this is the game. This is random number and this is head. So, 1 and 1. So, let me drag this slightly higher. Okay. So, I hope you can see. So, this is my definition. If I'm getting 1, 2, 3, it is head. 4, 5, 6 is tail. And if I get a 6, I get a 6. So, 1, 1 means I got a head, but I didn't get 6. So, if you get a head, you put a tick, and if you don't get a 6, you put a cross. That means, have I won? So, no. So, win, yes, tick, lose, 2, 2. What does 2, 2 mean? So, I got a head, and I haven't got a 6. Okay, 4, 1, again the same result. So, if you come to 1, 6, I got head and a 6. That means, I have 1, yeah. I have won the game here, yeah, and so on. Okay, my pen is not working. Okay, and I wanted to do this, say, for 20 times and see what's the probability of getting $10.